Look what the beautiful Christina has picked up for me for Valentine's Day. It's the Field Terror by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. This is, um, this is going to be a good one. This is one that was pretty hyped. A lot of discussion about this deck, and I think rightfully so. I believe it's going to look pretty cool. It comes in a hard box, as you can see. Let's take a look at the back of the box so that you have that. Somebody always asks for the back of the box. So for that particular someone, there you go. There you go. All right. Look at that. It comes with a cute little book. Ooh, let's look at this book a little bit later. For now, let's take a look at these pretty cards, which hopefully... I can get open without doing any damage. I've gotten pretty good at this, I have to say, over the years. So there we go. Let's see if we can get it open, get it out of the shrink and into the sink. Beginnings. The Fool. Not very cute. Like it. Got a little bit of that tattoo and ass. All right. There is the back of the cards. And the card quality is... Decent? It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not just vomitous thin. And it's not light sears tarot thick. A little bit in between there. A little bit of a mix. And there's the magician. I like the sort of that expression on that. And the high priestess. Looking pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. The empress. Ooh, interesting. Sort of that feline aspect, the feline power of that, and that little wolf, right? Uh, speaking of wolf, we have the emperor, a little more of a male aspect, apparently, with the same pyramids, and a little darker thing with the emperor being a little more alpha. I mean, I'm not sure what's happening here. But uh, there you go, the hierophant. Very cute. That's not bad at all. Looks very good. And the lovers, speaking of looking good, that's kind of cool. A lot of sort of the tattoo add-ons. A lot of the tattoo add-ons there. Um, the chariot. Sort of this independence feel from the two horses. I like it. And then justice. No scale. Just the sword. So it's almost like that justice has already been weighed. And we're in the punishment phase. We're in the punishment phase of with the sword. With those, with the sort of the the steps, we have the hermit, pretty traditional, just kind of cool with just the the very sort of ethereal look to it, and then fortune with the two different cats, sort of a yin yang feel there, and strength, I like it, and then perspective, ooh, very cool. By the way, that is. The box cover perspective. I guess that's the hanged man. And then death. Death is cool indeed. And then temperance. A little bit of a balancing aspect there. Not really mixing anything. Then we have the devil. Oh, very interesting. Sort of just picked up on the longhorn bull type feel there. And the tower has not yet crumbled. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun in a reading. The tower has not yet crumbled, but we should be prepared for that. And the star being guided towards that with the flame. So it's very cool. Very sort of interesting how they incorporated sort of sub-images or embedded images within the mountain shapes. And then the moon... I like it. And then the sun, uh, very pretty sun, sort of takes off on this. It sort of reused it a little bit. Feels like there is a lot of reuse within here, just sort of the mountain shapes with various images embedded. Then we have a judgment. And finally, the universe. Oh, I like this. I like this universe. Just the various aspects of the universe, the various maybe planets and galaxies and whatnot. We have the Ace of Wands, or Energy. Um, planning, okay. Again, with a repeat mountain shape with embedded images. And then Vision. Sort of interesting there. Celebration, I like it. 
nobody here. It's, it's like just this lack of people in here. And then competition, a little bit of that darkness feel in there, like there's literally going to be competition or we are going to be, we're going to be within that success, the six of wands and valor. Hmm. The Lord of Valor, the Lord of Victory, renamed to success, but okay. Movement. Resilience, okay. I like it. Got a little bit of the Thoth aspect there, doesn't it? A little bit of the Thoth aspect in that. And then Burden. The Lord of Oppression, right? Exploration. There you go. Again, with the mountains, with the embedded images and whatnot. Very, very light sort of feel to this. Instigation. The Prince of Wands. I'm not really sure what he's instigating, but okay. And then vibrancy. Ooh. The Queen of Wands being vibrancy indeed. Leadership with the King. Sort of looking off into the distance. Now we have the Ace of Cups. Love which is actually the Two of Cups. I'm confused. That is more of a beginning. This is union. We are naked and we have cups. Friendship. Very, very cool. And meditation. Ooh, I like it. So they're not all illustrated, but many are illustrated. We have the disappointment here with the Five of Cups. Very traditional there. It's sort of interesting. Some are illustrated, some not so much. So the wands were not really illustrated, but the cups are sort of picking it up and putting in some illustrations. I wonder maybe the wands was like the final, the final set. Choices, the seven of cups. The Lord of Illusionary Success, Retreat, and Fulfillment. It's very thought like there. And then harmony with the 10. Again, very thought like, in my opinion. So, dreams, the Princess of Cups is full of dreams. And the Prince of Cups as well. Look at that. That's very pretty. Intuition. Hmm. Very much water of water. I like that. Then we have control. Not really what I would consider to be the King of Cups forte, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We have clarity. Decisions. It's almost like they picked up that two of pentacles and did it again. Decisions. Ooh, I love this three of swords. How pretty is that? That is extremely attractive. And the four, I mean, pretty traditional here. We've gone away from the illustrated miners into sort of, you know, the other thing. We have the Lord of Defeat and Transition, going from one place into the next, right? Then we have Deception. Ooh, ooh, Deception. The Fox with the Evil Fox. And then Isolation, very Thoth-like. Nine of Swords, very cool. I like how it's just sort of facing them like it is. It's about to drop on her head. And then we have the Ten of Swords, Despair, and Curiosity. Not sure about that. The Prince. So we're going with a little bit of the Thoth-like prince, Princess Determination. Independence, the Queen. And then Authority. I like it. Ace of Discs, Wealth. I don't think that name belongs on the Ace of Discs, but sure. But Change definitely belongs on the Two of Discs. Look at that. Another, a lot of yin-yang feel within here. A lot of yin-yang feel within here. Then we got the Three of Works. The Four, Power, or in this case, Stability. The five, destitution. Ooh, I like how they picked up the Rider Waite window on the church and sort of just reinterpreted that. I like it. Nobody outside of the window. It's just that hint of a window. And then the six, generosity. Very cool. Very pretty. Perseverance. You know, pretty traditional on the seven. Perseverance, working through it, getting through it. And we have dedication on the eight. 
dedication, working hard for that. Then you have the nine, culmination. And the 10, establishment. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Very good use of colors in this deck. Very, very attractive. And the manifestation. Reliability. And, ooh, very good pregnancy card here. Nurture. Nurture. And then power. What it should have been on the four of discs is now on the king of discs. Power. That is the field tarot. Very attractive uh, deck. Good reinterpretations of everything. Let's look at the book real quick. Let me lower the uh, brightness because it does blow out whites on this camera for some random reason. So let's look at this real quick. We have the field spread. And we have the Celtic cross spread. And single card, three card spread. And then we have sort of the reading tarot and introduction. Then after that, we're going to sort of go into the majors. So let's look at a couple of majors here. You can pause and read. There is perspective and death. And then we'll go into some courts, exploration and instigation. And then finally, let's hop into a couple of minors. There's one, and then there is two. There we go. What do we got in the back? Probably thank you and all this other stuff. Uh, about the artist. And that is it. Let me know what you think about this gorgeous deck of cards. Thank you again, Christina. And we'll see you next time.